I'm going to share with you a covered call option strategy where I sell a covered call and obligate my shares to the buyer and in return they pay me a premium. But then no matter what happens, I keep my shares and the premium I received. Watch this video to find out how I do it. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to Simple Option Trading. I'm Jim Ray and I help investors that are new to options understand how to do simple stock option trading so that they can generate an income on a weekly and monthly basis while working from home. I took the information and experience that I shared in my 150 videos from a YouTube channel and created a course to help people sell their first covered call. You can get free access to my course by visiting my website coveredcallincomegeneration.com. There's a link included in the description. Okay, here's the situation. I sold a covered call and now I've been watching and monitoring the market waiting for the expiration date. However, I just recently changed my mind and decided that I want to close this option contract because I saw some things in the market, heard some news, and now I no longer want to have this call, covered call option contract out there where I'm obligated to sell my shares. You know, but what can I do? I've already sold the covered call option contract. I've reserved the shares for the buyer and I got paid the premium and actually I already used that money to invest in something else. So am I stuck? Is there no way out of this option contract? Or do I just have to wait for the expiration date and hopefully it expires uh, worthless and I still get to keep my shares. So I'm dead in the water, right? No way. I'm going to show you a way that I can easily get out from under my obligation as the seller of the covered call. Okay, so here's the situation. I own 100 shares of stock and for this example, it's going to be ABC Incorporated. Now using those shares, I wrote and sold a covered call option contract and those shares were then reserved as collateral. In other words, those shares are tagged and made unavailable for me to do anything else with them. And that's because they're used to cover the obligation of the option contract. Now, if the option contract gets exercised, then those shares that were reserved are assigned and sold to the buyer. So in return for selling the covered call to the buyer, I get paid a premium. And the buyer pays me this money so that they can have the right to purchase my shares if the terms and conditions of the contract are met on or before the expiration date. So now let me share an actual trade with you where I sold a covered call. I pulled out the transaction record from my account history for Blink Charging. And here we can see that I'm selling a covered call with a $55 strike price and an expiration date of September 17th. Now I submitted this order on June 2nd and it was filled that morning at 8.31 a.m. Pacific time. Now at the time I sold this covered call, it was paying $1.50 per share in premium. And when this option contract got filled, I received $150 as a credit deposited into my trading account. So now I'm in a situation like this. I hold my shares of Blink Charging, BLNK, as collateral. I receive the premium payment, but the buyer holds the covered call option contract and the right to purchase my shares. At first I was okay and I monitored the trade by watching the share price. Here's a daily chart for Blink Charging going back to September of 2020. At the time of this recording, Blink closed at $32.97. So for the past year, this stock is up over 400%. One thing I find interesting about this chart as I look at the past eight months, this stock has seemed to settle into a trading range in between a support of $26 and a resistance at $41. So on September 1st, I decided I no longer wanted to be a part of this option contract. I wanted to remove my obligation to sell these shares on or before the expiration date if the terms and conditions were met. So here's what I did. I decided to execute a technique called buy to close. Buy to close is a technique used by option traders when they want to exit a position where they sold to open an option contract. In other words, if I sell a covered call option contract, then I can reverse the transaction by purchasing the option contract back from the buyer. Now technically, I'm not really reversing the contract, but I am purchasing the contract from the original buyer in order to purchase and own their rights to my reserved shares. So in essence, I become the new buyer of the option contract that I sold. And as both the seller and the buyer, I've essentially closed the option contract, which means that the obligation to have my shares reserved no longer exists. And as a result, I now get to keep my shares. And what about the premium? Well, the premium that I got paid from the original buyer, I keep that as well. However, I did have to pay the buyer a premium in exchange for their rights to the original contract. So my net profit would be calculated by taking 
the original premium that I received and subtracting the money or the premium that I paid to the buyer for their rights to the contract. Using the covered call option that I sold for blink charging, let me show you how I would close out this option contract using the buy to close technique. So as a quick reminder for everyone, I sold a covered call for blink charging. It had an expiration date of September 17th and I chose the $55 strike price, which at the time was paying $1.50 per share in premium. So the date I'm executing this buy to close is September 2nd, 2021, or 15 days before the expiration date. Now, because of the large difference between the current price and my strike price, in combination with the reduced time value, I knew that the premium price for my option contract must also have decreased substantially. I jumped over to my phone so we could take a look at this transaction using my trading app. Let's check out the option that I hold. Here you can see the cover call I sold with the $55 strike price. Let's open it up and take a look at the details. I'll scroll down so we can see the numbers. So this is a covered call for symbol BLNK with an expiration date of 917. And when I originally sold this covered call option contract, I received $1.50 per share in premium. And you can see that credit amount shown here. But given the current market conditions, the current price of this option contract is now only 5 cents per share. So what's the significance of this to me as the option seller? It means that I can buy back this option contract and only pay 5 cents per share in premium. Wait, what was that? That's right, when I originally sold this option contract, I sold it for $1.50 per share and I received a premium payment of $150. And now I can buy back the option contract for only 5 cents per share. Let's do this thing. Back to my trading app on my phone. I'm going to start by pressing trade and then buy. Next, I specify the one option contract that I'm buying back. Then I enter the limit price or the premium I'm willing to pay to buy this option contract. Next, let's review the order summary. I'm paying $5 to buy back one open contract, which will release my collateral and remove my obligation to sell 100 shares of BLNK for $55 on or before September 17th. In other words, I'm paying five cents per share or $5 total to buy back this option contract and I'll get my shares back as well as keep the original premium that I received. So I submit the order, it gets received and placed in the open market. And then a short while later, my order gets filled. So I now own the original covered call option contract that I sold. And with this transaction, I've just successfully executed a buy to close. Now this technique that I just demonstrated is extremely useful to every option trader at every skill level and experience. So starting out, traders use it to exit positions. And as they become more experienced, they'll use this technique in order to roll an option. Hey, let's go back and finish up our summary, right? So I paid five cents per share, which is a total of $5 to purchase this option contract back. Get my free course where I show how I generated income using covered calls. Just visit my website, coveredcallincomegeneration.com. Okay, it's time to wrap this thing up. So I sold a covered call, reserving my 100 shares as collateral. And when this option contract got filled, I received $150 in premium. But then as I monitored the market conditions, I decided I didn't want to have this option contract exposed anymore. So I needed to get it back. And so I used a technique called buying to close. So I demonstrated how I was able to purchase this option contract back for five cents per share. And what that did was it released my shares back to me. So they were no longer obligated. And I paid a total of $5 for my option contract. So at the end of the day, I sold a covered call. I used a buy to close technique to get that option contract back. I keep my 100 shares and I pocket a total of $145 in profit after successfully executing this buy to close transaction. If you like the information about my stock picks, then consider joining my Patreon where I share exclusive videos on my stock picks every week that I'm going to be using for profitable trades. I also include my research notes, stock analysis, and trading strategies for every stock I pick to watch for that week. And of course, all my videos posted on my Patreon are ad-free. There's one last thing before I end this video. Now, making profits and generating an income from option trading is a great thing, but keep in mind that all gains made from trading are considered income and are subject to applicable tax considerations. So every month, I save a portion of the profits that I earned in order to pay for my federal and state taxes. So please consult with your CPA, licensed financial advisor, and or tax preparer regarding the tax liabilities for your unique situation. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. 
And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.